Lamentations chapter 4. How is the gold become dim? Money has no more value. It's like the Great Depression in America. Not that gold is dim, it's not value. Can't use it. Can't eat it. We'll see. How's the most fine gold change? That fine gold could be a reference to the temple because there was nothing but the fine gold used. I would assume that it had been cut and removed by the Babylonian army. It had been in the times of Judah. There have been kings that have gone up to the temple and scraped off the gold. The stones of the sanctuary, there's a temple, are poured out in the top of the sh every street. It's destroyed. The precious stones of Zion, that was used for the temple. And Jesus will speak to his disciples about the gold and the stones. He said they too will be taken down. Now the stone will be on top of each other. Compared to fine gold. And it was. Solomon used the best of what the best he had. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? Clay. Clay pots. Clay pots are not that valuable. Not as much as gold. The work of the hands of a potter. So the money has gone. The value has gone. America had that once. The Great Depression. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. Mammals. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel. The Hebrew women are not feeding their children. They can't. With the starvation we're going to read about, there is no resources, if I can use the word. They're turning away their children. Like many mothers and fathers do in America today. You know, I'm amazed. I've been many years in the grocery store. I've shopped many years in the grocery store. I've seen welfare recipients, and they got two or three shopping carriages, and they got four or five tribes of children. And I look in them carriages, except for diapers and stuff like that. Much of that food ain't the kids' food. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. You say, what on earth? Have you studied your Bible? Have you read your Bible? Because the answer is in Job. The book of Job. Chapter 39. 13. i got to go ask a scholar. No. Job 39, 13, giveth thou goodly wings to a peacock? You seen a peacock. Or wings and a feathers to an ostrich? Which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them in the dust. Wow, okay. And forgetteth that her foot may crush them. Or wild beasts may break them. She lays her eggs in the ground, then she has no care. So go back to Lamentations. And we see that the women they got their children but the context is they don't not taking care of their children. Broken them. Verse 4 this the tongue of the suckling child, the child that's on his mother's breast, cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. He's not getting fed. 
The tongue is swollen. That's what's happened. Young children ask bread. Jesus said, if, if your son asks you bread, will you give him serpent? Will you give him a rock? And Lamentation says, no, ma no man breaks it onto them. You know, America, what about the children? we got to feed everybody. we got to feed the homeless and all that. There'll be coming a day you won't care about anybody but yourself. And you're sure not going to jeopardize your life after you receive the mark to feed anybody who has not received the mark. And yet Jesus tells us there will be nations that will feed, take care, nurse, attend to the Jews who don't take the mark. They that did feed delicately, they had the great food, they had the finest food, the expensive food, are desolate in the streets. They have no home. They are homeless. They are street people now. With rags of the rich clothing they had. And they were brought up in scarlet rich clothes. In braced dung hills. Dung is poo poo. Caca. That's disgusting. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people, the Jews. And the Judah sin. We've had all Jeremiah to tell you. Is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom. Sodom had... Uh, sulfur. Brimstone. It was destroyed. You couldn't tell a building that was overthrown as in a moment. And no hand stayed on. No one helped and protected Sodom. No one helped the Jews. For Nazarites, and there was, there was a specific order of the law, what a Nazarite was to do, how he was to act, how he was to behave. No wine, nothing of the vine tree. Were purer than snow. They were clean. They were right. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Scripture says. You got to read the scriptures. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy, red in body than rubies. The Bible describes David as ruddy. The, the ruddiness is the color of the Jews, Jesus. Their polishing was of sapphire. They were bright. They were elegant. I don't mean as rich. They themselves, their posture, who and what they were. They took care of themselves. Except Samson. Their visage, their, what they look like, is blacker than coal. <coughs> From the lack of food, the lack of medical care, their skin has turned black. Diseases. They are not known in the streets. Everybody looks like each other now. Their skin cleaveth to their bones because there is no fat, no flesh from no food. It is withered, dried up. It has become like a stick. <laughs> All they are is skin and bone, and not even much skin. They that be slain with the sword. Those that were killed are better than they that be slain with hunger. There are people who are 
agonizing death with no food. And Jeremiah said, it'd be better if you were been killed by the Babylonians. For these, this is also pictures the tribulation period. Because the tribulation period, you're not going to buy, you're not going to sell, you're not going to eat unless you receive that mark. And no Jew properly can receive that mark. Stricken through want of the fruits of the field. Grapes, figs, vegetables. But there is none. It's been all burned up. The hands of the pitiful woman, the elegant, right woman, who do things properly, have sodden their own children. There is cannibalism again. <coughs> There's abortion for you. Late term abortion. Child's already been born. And we've seen this play out throughout the Bible. They were their meat, the children, in the destruction of the daughter of my people. Why? Was not one of their crimes they were offering their children to Molech? Hey, give your child to Molech. Be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. <coughs> Eat your children. And wouldn't it be remarkable if the wages of sin is death, that later on, sometime in America, children are going to die? Not of abortion, not of guns, so their mamas can eat them. The survival of the fittest, Darwinism. There it is. Dog eat dog. The Lord has accomplished his theory. Don't mess with sin. And then don't mess with God with sin. He has poured out his fierce anger. And has kindled a fire in Zion. That's why there's no fruit. That's why there's no vegetables. That's why they're in the streets. There's no homes. It has devoured the foundations thereof. Kings of the earth and all the inhabitants of the world would not have believed that the adversary and the, and the enemy should have entered into the gates of Jerusalem. I thought God was going to protect them. And their outcry would be, but they sinned against their God. For the sin of her prophets, false prophets, and Jeremiah dealt with them, and you've seen them all through. And the iniquity of her priest, that's the Levite priest and the false priest, that have shed the blood, murders, of the just, so here is the murdering of people that are just. It is murdered in the midst of her. They have wandered as blind men in the street. They don't know where they're going. They're in darkness. They have polluted themselves with blood. They're killing people. They're killing each other. To eat them, to steal, and to rob. Darwinism. He with the bigger axe wins. So that no man could touch their garment. They are going after each other. They are attacking each other. This for the clothes. People get in the most stupidest fights and arguments and deaths in America today. I didn't get my French fries. My onion rings were cold. They didn't put a tomato on my hamburger. I had to wait five minutes for my meal. 
They cried unto them. The people were attacking. The part E is unclean. The part, the part, touch not. And they fled away and wondered. They said among the heathen, the Gentiles, they shall no more sojourn there. The anger of the Lord has divided them. He will no more regard them. They respected not the persons of the priests that would be the Levites. Jeremiah was a priest. They favored not the elders. Oh, that's today. There's no respect for the elders. As for us, our eyes have failed for our vain help. No one helped us. Of all the gods and all the nations that we thought we were loved, we were deceived. And in our watches, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. America will learn one day in all actuality, majority of nations in the world hate her. They hunt our steps. They're looking, where'd he go? And we cannot go in our streets. They're looking for us. For our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is come. That's their hope. Our persecutors are swifter than eagles up to heaven. The eagles go fast. Once they go into the dive mode, phew, they pursued upon us, upon the mountains, like David and Saul chasing. And they lay wait for us in the wilderness. No matter where you go, the Antichrist is going to hunt you. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, Christ, was taken in their pits, of whom we said, Under his shadow we shall live among the heathen. They go into Babylon. Rejoice! And be glad, O daughter Edom, that dwells in the land of us. That's where Job came from. And gee, look at that quote we got from the ostrich. Scripture was scripture. The cup of judgment shall pass through unto thee. See, Edom was happy. Edom rejoiced. At the misery, destruction, death of all Judah and Jerusalem. And the Bible says, I will curse them that curse you, Edom. You curse your brother. Anybody that curses my people. Thou shalt be drunken. A, a, a picture of the judgment of God coming are drunken people. I'm amazed when I go into Walmart how much alcohol, especially when the NASCAR race is coming, and shall make thyself naked. Ooh, have you been to the beaches of America? Have you seen the people in summertime in America? I even heard it's worse than the European nations. Some of them just go naked. America's almost there. There are actually places and cities in America today women can legally go topless. That's a sign of God's judgment, judgment coming. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, old daughter Zion. Look, God gave eat him a little, you know, you're going to get what you deserve. He will no more carry thee away captive. 
he will visit thy iniquity. O daughter of Eden, he will discover thy sin. And what he did to Judah, what he did to Jerusalem, God is saying to Edom, you better watch out. Because it will be far worse for you because Edom, you're not my children. 